quick test video on formulae and equations. So we've got a couple of exercises. Here's the first one. So it's just basically write the formulae for the following substances. So if you want to pause the video, have a go and then play on for the answers. So magnesium carbonate contains the Mg2 plus ion and the CO3 2 minus ion. So the ratio of ions is just one to one. So it's MgCO3. Lithium hydroxide, Li plus and OH minus. So again, it's a one to one ratio of ions, LiOH. So bromine next, that's a diatomic substance. I use this mnemonic to help. Have no fear of ice cold beer. So the beer in that is bromine, so it's Br2. Calcium, like all metals on the periodic table, it's just the symbol, so Ca. Neon is a noble gas, so it exists as single atoms, so it's Ne. Copper 1 sulfate contains the Cu1 plus ion and the SO42 minus ion for the sulfate. So that's going to be Cu2SO4. Sodium nitrate, so that's the Na plus ion and the NO3, one minus ion, one to one ratio of ions, which is NaNO3. Sodium nitride, so again we've got Na plus. The nitride ion is N3 minus. So it's just the ion of nitrogen. So it's got that ide ending as opposed to eight for the one above. So the ratio is going to be three to one, three sodium ions for every nitride ion. So it's Na3N. Sulfur. So in equations, you would use the S symbol for sulfur, but as a substance, it actually exists as the S8 molecule. And finally, hydrogen sulfide, H2S. Okay, so the last task is just to write ionic equations, including state symbols, for these two reactions, A and B. So again, if you want to pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so for these two, rather than just give you the final answer straight away, I'm going to build it up and sort of show you just a reminder as to how to do these, if, if that's okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is write out the full chemical equation. So there's the first one. Um, and now we're going to turn it into an ion equation. So basically the rule is if it's aqueous, turn it into its ions. If it's solid, liquid or gas, leave it alone. Okay, so you can see we've got a, some aqueous substances here. So we're going to turn these, or going to show the ions present in these three substances. We're going to leave these alone. So that's what we've got there. So Na2 means two sodium ions, aqueous obviously, because of that state symbol there. CO3, so that's one carbonate ion, so CO3 two minus aqueous. Two in front obviously multiplies everything after it, so two H pluses, two Cl minuses, so we've got those there. Likewise for two sodium chlorides, so two Na plus, two Cl minus, leave these alone, so we've got them there. And now all we do is cancel like terms left and right. So you can see the sodium ions are there on both sides in the same quantity as are the two chloride ions. So we'll get rid of those. They're our spectator ions. And that's the ionic equation for that one. Okay, so moving on to the second one, precipitation of silver chloride. So that means silver chloride is going to form as a solid when these two aqueous solutions are added together. So the full equation looks like that. So don't forget that solid there, but it's aqueous for the rest. Um, ions, showing the ions for these three substances here. Leave that alone because it's a solid. So we get that. And then we cancel out all the spectator ions. So there are all the ions that appear on both sides of the equation. And so we're left with this. And the reason I've gone for this particular one is because those twos that appear in front of everything in the bold equation there, they should be cancelled out. So the final answer should just be Ag plus aqueous plus Cl minus aqueous goes to AgCl solid. 